Hello and welcome once again to Peter's Marine Service. I'm your host Ted and today I'm going to show you a brand new edition, the 2011 version of a very popular Quest Adventure 7516 Sport Deluxe. This boat's a very popular 16 foot pontoon and they made it even better with a lot of neat new additions. What I like about this boat is it's a 16 foot boat, seven and a half feet wide, I think if you compare it to a regular 16-foot runabout, which maybe you can get four or five people in it, here you can take a lot more people, a lot more space in the same 16-foot length with the pontoon. Plus, it's very stable. If you take some people with you that maybe aren't so sure about this boating thing yet, you can feel comfortable that they would feel comfortable on board this boat. Uh, very easy to get on and off of, and it's very stable when it's out on the water. 23-inch pontoons aid in that. Uh, if you notice on the sides here. So you have plenty of stability when you're out there. Another nice feature is a nice wide gate here for getting on board the boat. And then you'll notice here too, large platform here on the front. This boat's great for fishing and it certainly allows for that where you can stand up in the front of the boat. Plenty of room here to do some casting or what have you. Children come along, they can easily use it as a, as a place to jump on and off from the, back of the, uh, from the front of the boat. And they can board easily from the back of the boat, which I'll show you when we get to that point. The fishing chairs here are, are new. They're rotocast molded seats. What's nice about this is you, no wood on, the, on these seats, so they can withstand out in the elements much better than previous editions. Plus, it's a nice high back, very comfortable. Also, notice the rails that go all the way around. Nice tall rails all around the boat. So if you have kids that come aboard, you can feel comfortable that they're inside the boat with a nice tall railing. Many of the competition feature a smaller uh, gate that goes around. This is much more secure. Plus what you see here also is nice rod storage here with places to hang your lures and hooks. And of course the all-important cup holder located right there. As we move inside the boat here, one thing you'll notice, again, I mentioned about you could take more people with you. Look at the space that we have inside here. This is a 16-foot boat, and we have plenty of room inside the, this, this area here. You can easily sit one, two, three, four people here, five, six, seven. With an eight-person capacity, you've got plenty of room on board the boat. The nice backrest here, you can comfortably sit here and lounge out also. Notice right now I'm sitting underneath the bimini top for shade, but if you wanted to catch some rays, close that up. And here, a nice place where you can hang out here also. Plenty of storage in here. And in this boat here, we feature an aerated live well. That's standard equipment on board this boat, plus storage underneath this compartment over here. And it's all hinged, so it's, it stays right in here, nice and easy. This seat is removable, and it exposes a lot more storage here as well. One thing I'd like to point out, if you look inside here, is the seat bases are of a composite material. They're not wood. So all of the seats that you see inside here, there's, there's no wood used in the bases. That's very important because that's a place that could easily be susceptible to rot, and there we don't have that in the seat bases. So plenty of storage there as well. Apex, the manufacturer of Quest and Gilgetter, they produce all of their own interiors. So everything has a nice custom look to the whole boat color coordinated, fits perfectly, because they design it all themselves. Even in the Adventure Series, nice large helm seat here, very comfortable to sit in. You get a stainless steel wheel, that's standard. And this is a brand new dashboard for this year. They're using the same dashboard assembly, helm station, as they do in their higher end line, the ELS Series. Standard on this particular boat is the Humminbird Fish Finder also. That's, uh, that's new for this year, and that is standard equipment on the Sport Deluxe. So that's a nice feature. It is a fishing boat. You have the live well. You've got the casting chairs. Now you've got the fish finder, too. The only thing you have to do is catch the fish. But here you go. Nice, nice room here inside the boat. As we move further to the back of the boat, rod holders here in the back if you're doing a little bit of trolling. Storage here back here as well. More storage in the back. Probably put your starting battery or things back inside there. And rear entry door. Very easy to step to the back of the boat. 
because the boat's sitting down on the floor, I can't put the ladder down, but it's a beautiful ladder, three-step ladder that goes deep down into the water, very easy to get on and uh, back up into the boat after doing some swimming. Power options could be anything from a mercury engine, which we specialize here, or heck, we've even done a lot with uh, electric power too, if you have a limited horsepower lake or electric lake. Well, that's it, that's the 7516 Sport Deluxe. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call. We'd love to show you more of what this boat has to offer. Thanks for watching.